Hey, what's up, all you music lovers? We're reviewing Seven Deaths Kill the Flaw that was released in 2015, giving you an honest review how this album sounds. Roll the intro, baby. <laughs> So, when you buy this album, Seven Deaths Killing the Flaw, you're going to be hit and hit hard right off the bat with Thank You, which is the first single that was released off the album, and I really think it's a really good song, and if you never really heard of Seven Deaths before and you hear this album, and you're not really a rock fan, I think you're going to be hit and hit hard because this album has a lot of melodic singing and heavy heavy vocals but it's not too heavy that the average fan of music will not like it they're not too aggressive and they're not too soft that normal metalheads won't like them so you're gonna be hit with the song thank you as the single and death dance that's one of my favorite songs by this band and i'll definitely tell you this before i really heard this album I wouldn't consider myself a Seven Dust fan. I was never a real true fan of the band. I liked some of their songs that I heard, but this album made me a legit fan from start to finish, top to bottom. All 11 songs are songs that you can listen to, and you're not going to be disappointed by this album. I can't wait to see them at Rockville 2016 here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida on May 1st. They're going to be tearing shit up, and I can't wait to see them live for the second time. And the reason why I buy CDs over MP3s is just because the sound quality is that much better. I love supporting the band. I love the artwork. And I love just the cover of the album. I wish it wasn't a cardboard uh, case. I wish it was a traditional case. Because sometimes it feels like the CD might get scratched up. But the first link in the description box will take you to 7 Dust YouTube page where you can listen to the full uh, CD that they have there. But I do recommend you guys actually picking up the CD and not just listening to it on their YouTube channel. But like I said, these album, this album is great. Kill, Kill, the Flaw, Kill the Flaw is a great song. Silly Blast, Not Today, and Chop are some of the great songs that you should listen to. But if you're not a fan of this band, you definitely should check them out or at least give them a chance. So as always, I'm Trevor, and that is my honest review, man. I love this band now, and I'm a true fan. So as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.